Britain, which one? Oh man, okay. <laughs> Normally my mustache tingles when I find the right one. What is up G Squad? Today we have a very important mission. If you guys didn't see, Paul recently put up a challenge video where he got me and a group of his YouTube friends together to complete a series of challenges. You might ask, what did you have to do for those challenges? Let's just say I had to eat a cockroach. Now. The winner of those challenges got $500 and a fish of their choice. Luckily, me and Blake Exotic were able to win the challenge and we got to pick out our very own fish, which for me was a girlfriend for Mr. Bobby Blue himself. Hello, Bobby Blue. In order to pick up this fish from Paul, I have to get the tank, get the plants, the rocks, treatment, everything that needs to go into this tank. Let's begin. Operation, get Bobby Blue's girlfriend a home. Let's go. Okay, you guys, we just made it to the pet store. Our three objectives here, get the tank, get all the decorations, and get all the filters, everything we need to get the water right for this fish. Okay, there are tons of tanks to choose from here. But you guys gotta remember, this female is gonna be tiny. We're gonna get like a baby beta, right? So we don't have to have a huge tank to start with. I'm looking through all the options and there's tons of them. We got a two and a half. These are cool. Let's see, these are all beta tanks. Those right there, no go. Maybe something like this. I wanna set it up like in my kitchen somewhere on a little table. So I'm gonna build a cool little tank. Thinking maybe this one. This one might be it. It's a little bit small, but it has a filtration system. You gotta remember, this is a baby beta. It's gonna be like this big inside of there. It's gonna be a girl, so we gotta make it a little bit girly, right? Right? Shouldn't it be girly? I feel like it should be, no? Okay, it looks like as far as girly goes, we got this option, or we got this option. However, the reason I don't think this one is gonna work is because it's a little bit pointy, like kind of jagged, and I, I don't want her to hurt herself on this. So I think we're gonna go with this one. I try to stay away from the fake plants, but I wanna try this and see if it works. Thinking also, maybe a little bit of these. Spice it up, you know? We got all the supplies, got everything ready. We're gonna take it back to the house, get the water in it, get everything set up, and I'm gonna take you with me. Just wanted to let you fellas know, these gals are very expensive. She ain't even here yet, and she's already costed me $73.89. It's a good thing I love them. Okay, we are back at the house. I have all the supplies here, and I'm gonna show you guys what we got. I got a few things that might be temporary and a few things that might be permanent, starting with the tank. So. I'm actually planning on moving soon, so I think that by the time she's grown up enough to need a new and bigger tank, that I'm gonna be moved. So we're starting with this 1.7, it's gonna go on my table, and then eventually when she goes up, we're gonna put a bigger tank. So that's temporary. This is probably temporary, but I wanted some color and something cool to put on since it's going in the front of my house. And then I wanted to try something for her to hang out on. Like I said, on my other beta fish, Bobby Blue, he doesn't rest on anything that I give him. So I'm gonna test it out and if she likes it, I'm gonna get a real one. These were just for fun, just to let everyone know it's a girl. I don't even know if I'm gonna end up using these, but I wanted to have them in case. We got the Imagitarium Aquarium. I like what they did there. And if you look here, it comes with a tank, it's got a lid, it's got a little filter here, and the LED light changer. So I guess it changes colors. I don't know where that comes from. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. Oh, I like that. It's it's pretty small, but I think it's gonna work for now. The lid is already on it. Okay, this pops off. All right, sweet. Bubble wrap for safety, you know. Could probably use some of this whenever I'm with Paul and Britton. It looks like this is the remote. Oh no. So it's not a remote. All right, well that's the LED. I, I guess it needs, yep, battery's not included. All right, whatever. This here should be the filter, right? It just has like a little hanger that goes on the back and then it just slides right onto that suction cup. And it's pretty simple. All it has is this little cartridge right here. Pretty simple setup there. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the rocks in and start setting up the inside of the tank so we can pour the water in and start treating it. I learned from Bobby Blue's tank that you have to get the rocks perfectly even. So if you're setting up your tank, make sure you do that. Just a little pro tip. It drove me crazy and then I had all the water in and I was like digging around in the bottom trying to fix it. So. Just a little pro tip for y'all. Now it's time to start decorating the inside of this, but before we do that, make sure you clean off all of your stuff. First things first, this has to go in. I think I'm gonna put it right here in this little back corner. 
That way it sets down. All right, perfect. I'm gonna edge like one corner, I think, with these little rocks. I decided instead of just spreading them out, I'm gonna pile them up in this little corner. That way it kind of looks like a little pink treasure spot. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you guys like it down below. The final touch before we go ahead and fill this up with water is this little hanging leaf. I think I'm gonna put it in this corner here. This is our tank setup. She has some cover, she has somewhere to hang out, and she has a little bit of something to let you guys know it's a girl. For now this is the setup. We're gonna go ahead and fill up the tank with water and start getting the water treated and filtered. Another little pro tip for you guys, when you're putting the water in, sometimes if you pour it directly in, it can disturb the rocks and mess up your decorations. So today I'm gonna be using a spoon to disperse the water. You're gonna see how I do it. Now that the tank is filled up, I'm gonna go get the supplies to treat the water. Then we're gonna put the LED light on, the filter on, and get everything set up where it's supposed to be. In order to get the water right for Bobby Blue, it took me about five to six days. And this is what I used. API Quick Start, which this is for ammonia and nitrate that can be in your water. And this is to remove chlorine. We use spring water, so for the most part, it's pretty good on its own, but I use these for backup. I'm gonna put some of this in, some of this in, let it filter for a couple days before we go and pick up the fish. We're gonna go ahead and get this filter on here. I wanna get the water moving around ASAP. Plug it in and see what happens. Okay. The filter is in and on. If you look here, I like the pressure that it's blowing out. My last one, Bobby Blue, was blowing way too hard. I had to put a piece of sponge down in the filter nozzle down here. We got batteries in it now, so let's try this again. Oh! Check this out, all right? So you can turn it on and it actually changes colors. All right, you guys, here is the final tank design. We gotta meet up with Paul, pick out what little gal that we're gonna be putting in this tank. So everything's good, we're gonna let the water filter. Now, all we have left to do is sit back and wait for this water. In a few days, I'm gonna come back, go to meet Paul, pick up the fish, test the water, make sure everything's good. I'll see you back here in a couple days once the water has some time to treat and settle. Oh, it's been a couple of long, days waiting for this water to be good, but we're finally gonna meet up with Paul and Brynn today to pick out Bobby Blue's new girlfriend. I'm getting ready to drive up, meet up with them, pick out the fish, come back, bring it in, put it in the tank. Hopefully everything works out. Let's go. Out of all the fish Griffin could pick, he picks a betta fish. What makes you pick betta fish? I gotta get uh, another one to go in my house. Which one are you getting? Brynn, which one? Oh man, okay. <laughs> Normally my mustache tingles when I find the right one. That one. Ooh. This one? Yep. Hello, koi female. All right, buddy. Here you go, Griffin. There she is. <laughs> Satisfaction guarantee, so God forbid if anything happens or she passes away, then you can come back and get a refund. Beautiful. Sweet. 14 days, Griffin. Here you go. 14 days. I got yep. 14 days to keep this alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we made it back to the house. We have Bobby Blue's girlfriend. Ready to go into the tank. The water, everything is balanced. And also, the water temperature is 77 degrees and that's without a heater. We're gonna go ahead, acclimate her to the water. We gotta get her in safely. I have to be really careful while acclimating you because I don't want any of this nasty pet store water to touch the bag or anything in the tank that I have set up over there. So I have to be really careful with you. Oh, check her out. Do you love your new home? Just give it a minute, you'll be home. Okay, so I have given her about 30 minutes to acclimate to the water. So it is time to move her into her new home. This is a very tedious job with one hand, but I'm going to attempt to get this on video. Oh, okay, we got her. Oh, goodness. She is out into her new home, and it looks like she's already loving it. She's checking it out, wondering what's going on. I think that since she's so small, this water pressure might actually be a little bit too strong. Went ahead and got the water pressure turned down. Now that she's in, everything's good. The water's in, the temperature is good, the filter is slowed down. She loves the little rocks down there. I know I thought about taking them out, but it seems like that's her favorite place to hang out. I actually almost forgot Geo. Got me my first real plant for the tank. It's Anubius, pretty easy to grow, and I think I'm gonna put it in the back corner. So that way she has a little bit of live plant to get used to. I'm thinking, actually, this might even replace the little hammock leaf that I got. So we're gonna see how it grows in here, and maybe I'll be able to just take this out and use this for her to rest on. I'm gonna try to sit it down into this corner and hopefully try to attach it to this rock. So we'll see how that goes. We got the Anubius in this corner back here, and it looks like eventually they're gonna lay down I have them sit down here into the rocks, but the roots are still out, so I'm hoping the attaches are down onto this rock. But if you guys have anything 
you think I should do differently with the tank, any suggestions, anything I could do to make it better for her, please let me know down in the comments below. We're gonna try and feed her. If you guys have ever seen a beta tank in a pet store, they come in these little cups and you have no idea how long they've ever been there. You're basically rescuing them from the pet store when you buy them. Unlike Bobby Blue who gets the nice little nuggets, I'm giving her these Omega-1 flakes because I have to crush them up since she's so tiny. I'm gonna take these little flakes and literally like crumble it up almost into a dust. She's going after them. Oh, look at her. <laughs> that one was a little bit too big for her, I think. Of course, just like with Bobby Blue, I want you guys to help me name her. So please make sure you guys comment down below and let me know what you think I should name Mr. Bobby Blue's girlfriend. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate all of you. My next video, I'll do an update and let you guys know how she's doing and I'll do any changes that I need to the tank. Thank you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.